this half hour of today, a guy who can sure shoot straight, and he'd better because he's doing it in front of a lot of tourists on the FBI tour down in Washington. We'll take a look at one of the greatest marksmen in the country, and it's his full-time occupation. <laughs> Eight minutes before the hour, we're going to take a look now on cross-country at uh, one of the greatest marksmen in the land. Gene Chow has been waiting for this all morning Man. long. Man. This is the crack shooter for the FBI. This is a guy who stands by at the FBI headquarters in Washington. The tourists see him working regularly, and he likes it very much. Four years, as often as 25 times a day, five days a week. This marksman that we're about to see startles the tourists with his skills. So let's get a report on that now. must listening for back in the old days of uh, the FBI and peace and war and you can't help but re remember that tremendous opening that they used to have uh, advertising lava soap and the drum beat would come in there and the marching feet and you'd hear L A V A dum 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 another great story based on Frederick L Collins copyrighted book the FBI in peace and war Drama, thrills, action. Good morning. Welcome. I'm Paul Cahigas, assigned to the Firearms and Physical Training Unit at the FBI Academy. First of all, we have an indoor range in this building for two purposes. First, to give firearms demonstrations to those of you who have come here to take our tour and see what we're doing. We also feel there is only one reason to use a weapon in law enforcement. That is to save a life. Now with that last thought still fresh in your mind and possibly lingering, we'd like to shoot for you today, first at close range, a sidearm. <clears throat> now it ranges this close. We train to shoot from the hip. Oh, the way those bullets went. Oh, scary. Could you shoot like that? Yeah. Easy. <laughs> I'm afraid of guns because it's so easy to become so familiar with them that you treat them as if they are not dangerous weapons. Uh, as soon as you become friendly with a weapon, you're liable to get hurt. And uh, we are, I have a reverent fear of firearms. done a lot of shooting, of course, but I don't believe I've ever fired a weapon in anger. No, never fired it in anger. I'm strictly a paper shooter. Only a ballistics hole puncher. First fire, two or three at a time. Final burst. My recollection of the FBI in peace and war story was that the ending was almost exactly like the beginning. The FBI in peace and war was brought to you by L-A-V-A, L-A-V-A. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> corn, corn, corn. <laughs> you rascal, you're just bound to get that thing in there, aren't you? marksman with a gun, but he's also a marksman in terms of how he identifies our producer in Washington, Ray Farkas, a certified rascal, if ever I knew one. <laughs> Three and a half before the hour now.